All righty, we are back. Um, I asked uh, Joe to bring one of the uh, actors and uh, and performers from the uh, dinner theater, and I just met him for the first time. He's a very nice young fella. I always like to say young fella since I'm 110 years old. <laughs> so we're going to hear about his life and his career in dinner theaters and other things he probably has done. Please welcome for the first time to the show, Michael Carricker, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hello, Joe. Hey, Michael. How you doing? Hello, man? Mr. Dennis. Oof. Actor, actor, performer. Yes, sir. In London, you perform at the theater. The theater. The theater. Can you say the theater. Oh, I'd have it done to the theater. And at four o'clock, we just might have a bloody pot of tea, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> pot of tea, actually. I'm getting tea, married in the morning. You sing that song? <laughs> I Ding don't. Dong. I, oh, you've you know, never done I that would, part? I have not. Not yet. Not I was yet. telling you guys, that's the only <laughs> part I think I would like to do, <laughs> is the daddy in, uh, and I couldn't think of the name of the play, Liza Doolittle. Yes, My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady. Yes. Now, One's a play, one's a musical. Isn't there two different names? Or is it the same thing? Mm. Like Mame and Auntie Mame's a play and a musical. Correct, yeah. Some of the older classics, you know, they've been turned into yeah. musicals, but I'm not sure about that one. I saw Angela Lansbury do Auntie Mame. Really? At the Dorothy <laughs> Chandler Pavilion. Oh, my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. My mother always loved Ann Miller. Of course, theater people, you know Ann Miller. Love sure. Younger people say, oh, <laughs> she lays on a pillar. I said, no. <laughs> Harry knows Ann Miller, don't you, Harry? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> she came to Dayton, Memorial Hall, mm -hmm. and did Maine. Oh, yeah. Greatest thing my mother said she ever saw. What a talent she was. Mm -hmm. So here you are, and you're not a neurosurgeon. No. You decided to be, <laughs> and how did you go from being a, a um, rocket scientist, I think we had talked about, <laughs> and getting into the theater. Uh, well, um, <laughs> hmm, I thought about rockets, and then, you know, the whole idea just crashed. So just I was crashed. Like, well, that's not going to work. So, uh, <laughs> no, my dad um, had done theater when he was much younger, and so he kind of threw me into it very early on. Like, I pretty sure from what he said, my first role was Baby Jesus, and I slept through the whole thing, and some say I'm still doing that, but that, you know, that's all right. Ooh, How long uh, do you have to study the lines to play that part? Um, uh, not, not, Piece no, of cake, wasn't yeah, it? Piece Whoa, of cake. no nothing. It was just like, yeah. No nothing? It's no not nothing. It was fine. <laughs> no. Um, so he got me into that, and then um, I had been doing it ever since I was a kid, came up through it, um, through, uh, like, family children's theater, um, I had a, my mentor, Patrick McCreary, he was from, he's kind of what they call like a new vaudevillian. Mm -hmm. um, he also plays Lincoln on the side um, and a triathlete. But he brought me up in like the comedy of the big um, and kind of the Carol Burnett style and so, and also Shakespeare. So wow. <laughs> you mix those two, you, <laughs> yeah, got a good, really. you got a really good show. Um, and then I had gone on to uh, Little um, uh, College went to college for theater, um, and then just kind of went out and started getting professional gigs. Um, one of my first uh, tours I did was a little Midwest tour of Pump Boys and Dinettes in 97, 98, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. And, um, but then I, you know, life happened. Uh, I have two sons, Anthony, Michael, and Caleb Christian, 13 and seven. Uh, and then in 2005, I just decided to kind of you know, do my acting full time. So, yeah, just kind of go all over, all over the country. Do they travel with you? Oh no, no. <laughs> they stay at home. Where's you know, home? Where you home is Kansas, Wichita, Kansas. So, Kansas. Yeah. You gotta love Can <laughs> Kansas City. Three hours away. Very nice, Wichita. Uh, you know, still very, very nice. I, <laughs> You were playing nice. Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska, I've never played. The Corn Boy, I State. want I should tell you about Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the road with a live, of course, it wasn't a dead band. It was a, with a band. Mm. And, of course, if you look at the state of Nebraska, you got Lincoln, blah, 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 North Platte, Grand Island, and another city. And when the booking said you're going to that city, I thought it was Ogalia. Uh -huh. You know what it is? Ogallala. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, what the hell? hell is that? <laughs> so, where is this? It's, it's right next to Colorado, as you go. Mm -hmm. That's but right. flat, 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 oh, flat. I mean, yes. you know? Indeed. So, um, I'm thinking, who ever heard of Ogallon, Nebraska? 
So if you ever watch the movie Airplane uh, with yeah. the hole in the side, you know where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. Yep. The movie opens up with two stewardess. Well, where are we going this week? Oh, some godforsaken town called Ogal Ogala I said Ogala Ogala, Nebraska. And I'm thinking, God, I was thinking, you know, a little <laughs> rinky dink town, they talk about it in a movie, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now you're in dinner theater. So mm -hmm. is this what you do you have goals where you'd like to uh, see if you can get into films? Um, going to Broadway or just expand if, or if the opportunity ever came up obviously I wouldn't say no yeah so um, but I've done you know local commercials things of that nature um, but my goal is basically to stay consistently working and I would like to get more back into directing I mm -hmm. did a few little projects when I was younger but that's something that I'd like to move back into is just directing and still doing my own gigs mm -hmm. on the side but yeah, if I'm trying to teach you know my sons anything, it's go after your dream, even yeah. if others are not up for it. So yeah, and you know, in show business, it is a business indeed, and it's also known as the most insecure business in the world. That's right. Yep, we're all kind <laughs> of damaged know goods. Never that next job's <laughs> coming. From. How yeah. often do you get to see your boys? I get to see them quite often, especially oh. when I'm home. Um, I have a couple of theaters in Wichita, the Crown Uptown Dinner Theater I was with for a very long time, and Mosley Street Melodrama, um, I do that quite often, and it's it's something entirely different than dinner theater, whereas we bust the fourth wall down all the time. It's very Carol Burnett, we, it's not a set show, we change it up all the time. We yeah. have a script, but um, yeah, I when I'm home, I get to see them quite often. Oh, that's so. great. Daddy's yeah. an actor. Indeed, that's, and that's I'm hoping cool. my sons are accountants so they can take care of me later. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if they say if it doesn't quite work out, you know. Exactly, kind of yeah, yeah, so it, it's very nice. Um, and I try to, if I can, um, to whenever I go out, I try and go for about two months or so um, and then come home mm. for an extended period of time and then go back out for a couple of months. So that way I'm not gone too terribly often. So. Has uh, uh, television drama not in your cup of tea right now? Or you oh, just rather stay in the theater? I would love to, but with my <coughs> you know life circumstance, it's yeah. very hard to make it in that industry if I'm not in, say, L.A. or And you have to live nature. there and stay there. Yeah, yeah. I have friends who do it, kids. who do very, very well, but it's just, with my circumstance, it's just yeah. I'd you know, rather stay at home and stuff like that. So, but for others, it's wonderful. It's, but it's a, it's a grueling oh, I beast. I I've mean, heard it stories, is. you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Joe has a philosophy that I am reminding him of. Mm -hmm. Joe is like, um, <laughs> I have some timers. Uh, Joe is like, quick, 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 what is it? No. Joe is like Hallmark cards. He cared enough to bring the very best that he has as an actor, oh, and he brought you. Wow! Well, How's that? Boy, that's pretty good, wasn't it? it you can use that yes. later if you want to, Jack. <laughs> that's <laughs> very nice. Well, we've we've had Michael on our stage, I think, four times yep. in uh, in the last uh, what, uh, two and a half years, I think. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah, it's it's wonderful. Like La Commedia is, they're very, very, very good and smart at what they do, and I love performing with them. They're wonderful people, and the people that they bring in are very, very good. And I hear it's, you become like family. Absolutely. You know, that's yep. important. That's, <laughs> and that's very important. Very true. When your family's in Kansas and you're here, mm -hmm. you got to have some type of foundation. I think you yeah. found it with this theater. In our history of our theater, we've had numerous uh, performers that have went on and done many Broadway shows. And, mm -hmm. and actually, John Goodman, uh, he got his start on the Lockermedia stage. Wow. That's oh, right. That. Yeah. We had a theater here. You remember the Mayfair? Am I too old? To, <laughs> you're not as old as I am. You remember the Mayfair? Uh, Have you ever heard of it? I do not remember. Well, Dayton tore it down. <laughs> Surprise. Harry! <laughs> <laughs> Harry's too young. He don't remember either. We had a theater that started, guys that started was Melton Burrell. Wow. Huh. Red Skeleton. Oh. Um, you name the big names, and they played on that theater. And the city tore it down. Yeah. I, I just couldn't believe it. It, it turned into a uh, comedy burlesque house, mm -hmm. and I think the last week I heard it was open, I probably wasn't even old enough to go in there, but I did go in. And 
<laughs> the guy was standing there doing his shtick, and the girl says, I don't want to go there. Well, I didn't, you know, doing their little shtick. It's, it's like in Gypsy. Why did you tell Mildred that I'm going to do lines? <laughs> I don't do lines. <laughs> I love that show. It was just Indeed. on the other day. Yes, it's so good. Miss Ripper. <laughs> you know you have to have a gimmick and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Love that stuff. Yeah. But they tore it down. That's one of the things that seems to be happening <laughs> with a lot of the theaters around the country is they start tearing them down because they, they're so old. And sad. instead of <clears throat> you know investing or finding investors to renovate, they just tear them down. When I sat there and I saw that wood carving that went around the stage, you know what it cost to rebuild something like that? Oh. And they tore it down. And the history, that list of the names of the guys who started like Milton Berle and mm -hmm. Red Skelton and all these great comedians, that was on that stage in Dayton, yeah. gone, and it's, it's really so sad. sad. Yeah. yeah, and that's something that um, <coughs> I have a little project that I've been um, working on back home, uh, just going around two different theaters and kind of like on the History Channel they have going underground to mm -hmm. these different places, but of kind of showing different theaters around the country and yeah. you know preserving them while they're still standing, yeah. just to kind of and if people you know we're going to try and find. Uh, places that people can donate to to yeah. you know possibly save these wonderful beautiful theater houses so. Michael you should have seen our RKO theaters in Dayton at one time oh yeah people would come from New York and say they've never seen such beautiful theaters oh, wow. the RKO's were the state RKO keys well, let's wait for your time yeah right see when you're <laughs> old guy I can't remember who's gonna be doing what thanks for coming Michael thank you sir